This is Metronome from the Attic. I'm Alex Rabb. Tonight, Company Towns. Oh, I'm heading for the canyon. I'll be there by tomorrow.
That was great. Thank you. Hello. Well, can you do us a favor and just go around and introduce yourselves to us, please? All right, well, I'm Sarah Alio, and I sing part of the three-part harmonies here in harmonica. Eric Morelli, guitar and vocals. Nate Blick, drums. <laughs> Andy King, bass. Jody Alio, guitar and vocals. That was nice to meet y'all. <laughs> you. you too. So you're from Warren, Pennsylvania. How'd you get together? Oddly. Well, Jody initially had a bluegrass band, and I met him by recording his album and then stole him from my own band and destroyed the other one. Very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy the other one. Um, I shouldn't say that, actually. No. <laughs> when Jody was playing with his other band, um, uh, we just, I, I just learned all the songs. I'm married to him. And uh, I just started singing with him. <laughs> we picked up Eric and we sang as, uh, we played as a three piece for a while. And then we needed more help. And that's where we entered. <laughs> awesome. They said, we'll try out one time and uh, stuck. <laughs> it, was a, it was an easy decision to get us all together. Plus, we're all friends already. So you recently played the largest show of your career thus far. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? At the Struthers Library Theater in Warren, Pennsylvania. You can talk about that. Coming from our area, you're either playing a bar with a hundred cap to a 900 seat historical theater. So we rented this theater and worked relentlessly for months to get people out and it was incredible. We made these suits, we had a backdrop of a mountain landscape and these cactuses. Just basically celebrated with our family and friends. Yeah, we just uh, advertised as much as we could for this show to get as many people there as we could and the turnout was amazing. And it was really fun. So the most recent album is a covers album. Why did you choose to go the covers route? We knew the songs so well, and these guys liked playing them. It's like, well, we already have these songs. Let's just get them down, kind of give us a little momentum for our next original album, which we are currently working on writing songs for that. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit more about that current album that you're in the midst of writing? Well, when we first started out, we were just kicking ideas around, coming from different styles of band. I, I was in a folk band. Andy and I had been playing together for years. Jody coming from bluegrass. Nate having more of a rock background. We would get together and the creative process, while it was satisfying, it made genreless songs. So over the course of a couple of years, we've been more deliberate in honing in our country and western sound. So this new album we're working on has more of a Ennio Morricone cinematic sort of western sound to it. Because we, we locked into something we think is really special and unique that, in our sound. That country and we leaning more towards the country and western sound. And, right, yeah. I feel there's a lot of country bands out there and I, we're trying to just be a little bit different by doing those more theatrical kind of songs. And it's what we're more comfortable with. Yeah. We enjoy playing this kind of music. It's fun for us. Yeah, I'm not sure how many other people enjoy it, <laughs> but they seem to like it. <laughs> Very <We> enjoyable <laughs> on this end. Well, can we hear some more? Sure. Absolutely. All right.
I want some coal from a beggar's grave.
the primer As a first shot leaves a gun Sun. Well, I'm loading up another round. I ain't got time left to run. Add a Winchester up to my cheek. I touch off one more round. The rider hits the ground It was this eerie western, creepy. it was creeping. <laughs> it was awesome though. So yes, that theatrics that you're talking about, you can completely hear it in the music and it is awesome. And Thanks. it is a sound I really feel that a lot of people would enjoy, do enjoy. And it's something that I feel country fans miss because in the new age of country, no one sounds like you. And that's yeah. an awesome thing, truly. Appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So you're from Warren, which is a little rural town in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. What's it like being a band in a small town like that? Well, it's always friends and family at the shows. I was going to say, it's at least nice because we do know most of the people that come to our shows. And we have a little group that kind of follow us around now, which is fun to see their faces. And they know all our songs. And that always makes the show really energetic and fun. Um, but then there's that we all have our own careers, day jobs, so it's hard for us to just go out on tour and go to cities and play to people we don't really know because we don't really have the time off or, you know, something like that. Right. It's hard to put on a legit performance in front of your, your mother and your grandmother. <laughs> you, know, you, you can't Don't be, get me wrong, they're our yeah, biggest it's fans. Great. It's awesome, they are our biggest yeah. fans, but it's hard to be legit, I yeah. feel. Tricky to move forward. So what do you think then um, can bands from small towns, what can they add to the culture of the town or, or how can they add to the culture of the town? Different points of view, usually. Yeah, just bringing any artistic expression to a town is good, especially right, we, when it's rural. If you need the community support and people are starting to realize you have something, does that give you more of a wind to push for something more. Absolutely. Well, between doing Metronome today, we'll be playing the Reg Lene in Jamestown tomorrow on a big festival. And that all came through this push to just go to the next level on our own terms. So we've definitely stepped it up. So what does success look like to company towns? I will say the number one thing for us is probably fun. It needs to be fun for us. Mm -hmm. um, it needs to be in, like a joy. Um, we're not going to just do this to, I mean, we're all friends. It's not our only job um, at the moment. And uh, yeah, we just want to have a good time together as friends and just with the community. And, and having opportunities to come to State College and do something like this. Yeah, like, this is fun. This is really fun for us. Huge for us. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. awesome. It's fun for us, too. <laughs> Could you play some more? Sure. Oh, you'll always be looking for something. Now, I'll always be looking for you. And all of these lives that we have been living. Searching boy, tired of searching to do. Too many night, well, I've roamed and I've rambled. Some days I feel I've met everybody, been born. And all the names and the places I met on. Resolving nothing. 
Just a poor searching boy tired of searching to do. Company Towns, that was wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Of course. I'm Alex Rabb. This is Metronome from the Attic.